Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to put together a quick video to show you some of the great new updates that we've added to your workflow mode within your Design Files account. So if you haven't been using the new workflow mode uh, within your Design Files account, it's definitely a feature that you want to give a try because it does allow you to start grouping your projects into various categories so that you can really focus your time on which projects are the most essential for you to work on on any given day. And it also just gives you a clear snapshot of where all your projects stand uh, from month to month or as you're making your way through them. Now, a couple new things that we've been adding to the workflow mode. For one, we had a lot of requests from designers who wanted to be able to change the column headers to better match their workflow. So as you can see, we already built in some column headers for you to help you get started. And uh, this will basically group your projects into new requests, in progress, pending feedback, client purchasing, or completed. If those don't work for you, you can now click on any of those column headers and you can edit the header to whatever it is that you want that particular section to be focused on. So go ahead and do that if you'd like. The other thing that we've added in to the workflow mode is the ability to add due dates to any of your tasks or any of your projects. So just click on the little calendar icon here, select the date that you want to complete this project by and it will show within the project. If it's gone red, it means that you've gone past that due date. So that means you're gonna to wanna to pull this one back into in progress, make any final changes that you need to make, and just get this project wrapped up as quickly as possible. Now for anybody who hasn't been using the, pro the new uh, workflow mode within your projects page, it's, as I mentioned, it's definitely something that you're going to want to give a try because it is really going to help you get very organized within your business. So I'm just going to break down a couple of things that you might not have been aware of. For the new request section here, any projects that get funneled into this section could be cases where maybe you've used your design questionnaire link on your website and you're giving potential site visitors or potential clients an opportunity to fill in the design questionnaire and request a design consultation from you. If you've been doing that, anytime a client fills out the design questionnaire on your website, that job is gonna get funneled into your new requests. It's also going to group in any time a client purchases a package from you from your design files account. So if you've been using the packages page here to sell online packages, when a client purchases one of those, that job is gonna get funneled into the new requests, at which point you can click on the link to see all the details for that particular project. And if you wanna take it on, just drag that project into the in progress column. For any of the projects that you have in here, you can also reorganize them vertically as well. So you can decide which ones are gonna be your main priority for the day and push them to the top. And as you make your way through, you can just keep dragging your project over. So let's say that you made some changes to a floor plan or you made some changes to a uh, mood board design and you submitted those to your client for review. When you do that, come to your workflow mode, drag your project over into pending feedback. And then as your client uh, logs in and makes feedback on these projects, you of course will get your email notification. And if you need to come back in and make any edits to the project, you can always bump it back to in progress. While you're working on it, keep it here. And then of course, push it through all the way to the end until this project is complete. Now, a couple other things that I'll bring to your attention for the workflow mode. Uh, over here, you do have the ability to reset your column headers. So if you wanna go back to what the original headers were, you can always do that. You also have the ability to hide the purchasing column. So if you're an e-designer and you're just never going to be in charge of ordering products for your client and you don't need that column, you can either one, change the header and uh, use it for a different uh, product or project grouping uh, that matches your workflow. Or if you want, you can remove any projects you have currently in the purchasing column, come up to the gear, and that will give you the ability to hide the purchasing column. And then the other ones will just spread out to occupy the full width of the page. If you want to bring it back, click the gear, turn the toggle off, and then of course you can start pushing projects into the purchasing column if you do want to use it. 
Other than that, you've got your basic navigation at the top of this page. You can always search for a particular project. You can always filter down to a specific client to only show the projects for that particular client. And of course, you can also browse your archive projects if there's one that you need to bring back in. So there you have it. There's a couple of new updates that we've added to the project workflow view. And for anybody who hasn't used it yet, I really would like to encourage you to give it a try. You're gonna find that it's gonna help you stay far more organized and it'll give you a very clear picture of what you need to focus on for any given day. So if you have any questions at all, just let us know. We're always happy to help. And as always, thanks for watching.